So ladies and gentlemen, I decided to do a late night update on school. Uh, Christian Ronaldo, uh, Canada still closed their border. I'm so sorry, I thought that they would have opened it. But some essential person, essential. So all your horses to our visitors just wanted to explore Canada. It's still possible and so much more. So first and foremost, I'm going to do some random, random stuff today, right? Mostly, mostly, and uh, information-wise, of course, information is power. Once you know it, it costs less, right? So that's what I will be saying. So, Canada still closed their border until July 21st. I was like, really? Come on, Mr. Justin Trudeau. But honestly, it was kind of expected, a 50-50 chance, because what? Canada is still way behind in certain essence, but uh, Canada marked the world first um, doses up to 75 percent but no it's probably gone to 80 because they are trying to get to, um, to the second dose where if they get a 20 percent second dose um, shots they can look for reopening pretty soon now the the government have hold back on certain stuff because they say once they reach 75 percent they will relax certain restrictions but that didn't happen so they, they changed it to 20 percent second doses so they're working assiduously on that so for now, coming into um, um, Canada, it's going to be a little tedious, but for returning residents, uh, you have to put a uh, uh, three days um, negative test and arrival to, to the island, um, to the country, if you're not yet vaccine, uh, vaccinated, all right? So bear that in mind if you're planning to come ensure, and oh yes, yes, one more thing. Here Canada probably is one of the most frequent back and forth to the Caribbean. While else, while else um, some airlines have been restricting, cancelling, and delaying. But to a quite extent, I researched that Air Canada have been charged for delaying, and the US, that Department of Transportation, have been suing the Air Canada for some overlaying that caused a multi million rupture doing from, from the States to here. So, so that being said, um, you have to keep looking out for that, alright? So, I want this part that you ever hear the, the saying about um, Bill Gates and his wife. Uh, I, it's a long story, but I just want to share it with you. The rich people, it's only rich people can get an amicable closure and a devotional um, engagement. Bill Gates. Cart was cheating with his, with his long time wife, 20, 27 years. But guess what? He decided to, to split it. He said, hey, come on. No need to go to a lawyer. All this. So he, he gave her he, his wife um, on $100 billion stocks and shares and stuff like that. Call it a lot because he obviously caught cheating. And, uh, and, the, and the result is with no court, with no after split business. Because trust me, that would have cost a catastrophe with sharing and all those stuff. And just imagine. Everything has to split 50 50 what Bill Gates and uh, um, built and, and team built, right? But 100 billion dollar can't be arguable, uh, can't argue with that because if you try to argue that, that you'll be greedy. And trust me, that I know the court will go against her if she decides to go fight for 50 50 um, ownership, right? So 100 billion dollars resolve it, the, the cheating issue that is. I mean, it's only the rich people can do that. If it was a poor guy, me and you, and I've got hundred million dollars, the wife would want. If I give the wife ten million, she would have won uh, the next forty million, and so forth in in a position uh, plus more. So uh, about this little birdie, I catch him on camera. I won't say nothing more, but I have a little conversation with him. I hope you like it. I hope you guys like it, and I kind of like it. It, it reminds me. Of us human, we try to do everything one time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and this one is so hilarious. And trust me, I think this birdie is a male. He said, No, sir, me I do this one time, and she can't complain. She can't complain if we get one trip, one big road trip. So, guess what? One trip go and done. <laughs> everything I get but anyway, I won't talk too much in this video. Check out this video and uh, I'll tell you what you think about this little birdie. All right, so hey, little birdie, what's up? You want with me? I'm just checking why you carrying so much sticks one time. I can't you make two chip. No, you know. Because wife you say, if I don't finish with this, she not lean a head. I mean, why am I beat me? So, might as well. One stone kill two body. Make everything one time. 
and what me can get a next knock in half a hit before the season end because I want my triplet Mr. Brady so who you going to catch so much the one time hmm watch and see watch and see and see if you carry it your highlight one time and come back and carry more but anyway see you later you alright alright Brady so Cristiano Ronaldo I mean I, I was watching it, it was I think it was Thursday. It was yes Thursday, last Thursday but God. I was watching it and like Christian Ronaldo uh so shift the bottle uh, Coca Coca Cola bottle, something like that from the from the shot. I mean like come on. I uh, uh, uh I had to freak like him won't want that shot in and me personally I don't drink sodas with him, so I would have done the same thing. But the scenario the behind the scene that he just by moving that bottle, that's how powerful this guy is. Just by moving that bottle, he cost Pepsi or well, Coca Cola billions of dollars, four billions of stocks and shares dropped just by moving that little bottle. I said, Hagua. I mean, just imagine more people like that, um, more celebrities fight against about healthy lifestyle and with these big companies forcing on this stuff. And you know, it just it just feels just right. And I'm not much of a football fan. I do I love football. I don't sit and watch it. I can body go crazy. And oh, I know all of these persons in on a particular side. But that moment when I saw it, I was like, I know that only caused an inter uh, uh, interruption in, in some way, shape, and form. And I have the footage for myself. So tell me what you think um, down below. Comment and let me know what you think. Eh? Coca-Cola. Oh. Boa tarde a todos. So, I, I was promised everybody about more inf information of Canada. Oh my God. I wish I knew all of these things before I came to Canada. Trust me, it would be a whole lot easier, guys. Um, the process of getting through, especially if you're going from through students. Now, the student's way is more tedious than getting a visa, a visiting visa. My opinion is just mine. If you have the money, the time, the resource, uh, the capacity in your time of getting a student visa from, from where you are, it's okay. But my opinion, if you want to get studying here, I think you just go through the visiting visa. Whenever you get that, apply here within the college, right? And this college will do all the processing, give you the acceptance letter within an ease because you're already in the country, you already got a visa, all right? So all that would require for you is to get uh, the acceptance letter and uh, probably a down payment of thousands, thousand dollars, thousand dollars Canadian and uh, a guarantee of how the money will cons constantly be paying if and how you'll be not able to. Of course, family relative will be here and of course you'll be getting uh, the work part-time work or uh, slightly over shift in can be able to pay for your tuition fee while, while studying. So that also could also add to it but when you're out of the country it's a whole level of our game but as i said the visiting visa then from students would be able to to uh, marginalize where you should go where what you should not to do so that just just that's just the tip of the iceberg that i want to, to say if i was want to want to study in Canada and get that visiting visa of course it's going to be a costly effective measures instead of going straight at the students now getting the student visa if you're going directly from outside of um, Canada I'm trying to get that student visa just imagine if you have a, a public 2000 well I had a friend she was from Colombia she we were having dialogue she said she had to find 4000 Canadian dollar before she could be able to get the, the visa and everything come true not only that that is four thousand dollars in tuition expense traveling uh campus booking all of that will come to some up to four thousand Canadian dollar. That's just insane, crazy amount of money, and it's not easy to get if you're uh, not able to do it on your own. All right, so it is way more harder than if you were in the country already trying to get that um, status change from visitor to student. That way, it's much easier. 
going by that but that's just my opinion and i hope you guys do like this video give me a thumbs up like share and let me know what else would you like to know about canada i'm just here to, to to break down everything about canada as much as possible what i know i'll be sharing with you whatever it is all right so for then uh it is a late night when i just decided to do something new uh, i'm not waiting for any spectacular moments the sun shining birds glistening you know <laughs> wind blowing in my face just to say that i was bored in my room anyway give a thumbs up if you like it share comment and let me know what else about Canada you want to know especially about Ontario uh, ciao